We're, we're still out here, man. I, I think we're the only ones out here, but we're still out here in Lyford. This game came to a close a while back. It was a running game, so the clock just kind of kept on ticking. But that being said, let's get to some highlights and let's get this started before well, the night's over, man. We go to live for the Bulldogs hosting the Santa Rosa Warriors. This one was set to be a good one. It was a district opener for District 16 3A. And of course, we're looking to see who was going to start off with a bank. No scoring in the first quarter and halfway through the second. You'd think that'd mean good defense, but eh, more like sloppy offense on both sides. Every single time the team would get it running, it just seemed that that ball would pop out, and it was a fumble for Lyford. It was a fumble for Santa Rosa, an interception for Lyford, a fumble for, it was just back and forth until about five minutes left before halftime, and that's when the Bulldogs, well, they got vicious, they got things going, and they got it right. They passed the ball to Taylor, Jordan Taylor to be exact, Little pitch off, and boy would Hat Boy take off and run and score. You see him cutting, you see him moving, you see him finding the end zone, and just like that, he puts seven on the board. The Life for Bulldogs will take the lead seven to nothing going into halftime. And of course, the Santa Rosa Warriors would come out in the third quarter, halfway through. They scored a touchdown to answer, but it seemed that the momentum left as soon as they missed that extra point. A bat snap, the ball. Well, did its thing, it fumbled around just like it had been at the beginning of the game, and it was 7-6, and then the Bulldogs, 14 unanswered points. They go on to win this one, 21-6, your final score. Now, the Bulldogs are sitting at 2-4 and four for the season, but most importantly, 1-0 in district. They go on to face San Diego next week, and well, like they say, when district starts, it's a new season. We'll see what happens with the Bulldogs next week. As far as the Santa Rosa Warriors are going to look to bounce back as well. Clay, that's going to do it for us. Before the last light goes out here, we're going to throw it back to the studio, buddy. Rigo Montenegro, Action 4 Sports.